Yoga Lane. Hello, I'm back. It's been a while. I've been working really, really hard. But this is what we're here to talk about. This is my Street Fighter guide number 12. I haven't done an 11 yet, which is Alex, and uh, I actually kind of want to save that one because I think Alex is going to appear in Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter 5, another talking point, but I'm not going to go into that right now. Pretty psyched about it. Anyway, Dal Sin has arrived, finally, he's in the building. Um, I have to say, I wasn't looking forward to Dal Sim at all. Um, I mean, I was, sorry, that's a, a slight exaggeration. He's just not my favourite character. He's kind of an annoying character to play against. I never really enjoyed playing as him, um, and I guess he's one of the less popular characters really when it comes down to it. I think people would rather buy like a Kuma statue or a Ryu statue or whatever. When I'd seen the concepts, I thought, wow, that's really intricate. It's really ambitious, and I don't know if Pop Culture Shop can pull it off. Um, it has a lot of mixed media elements, it has, as you can see, this elaborate kind of stand. Um, it has him placed, sat on the stand, um, and he has a number of different heads, and one of them is a yoga flame head, which is just insane. Um, so I was kind of lo looking at it going, okay, this is going to arrive damaged. Um, I'm really worried about it, and, um, and I, I just don't know if it's going to be on par with the other Street Fighter statues. Um, and I was really, 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 really wrong. This video is not gonna do it justice. Pictures don't do it justice, I can tell you that right now. Um, it arrived, I think, yesterday. Uh, and just everything about the statue and just the way it arrived, the box, the, the packaging, um, just screams quality. Anyway, I'm gonna try and move quickly through a whole bunch of things and all the normal information that I give. So. Let's talk quickly, I have some notes just under here because I'm cheating a little bit, but let's talk quickly about uh, how many variants there are. There are three variants, the first one is the regular. I'm actually not sure what the ES on that was, the edition size in the end. Um, so if you know, put it in the comments, please. Uh, it has two heads, the regular. It has this head, which we currently have, um, and then it has, I have behind here, the yelling head which fits nicely into there. Um, he's actually facing upwards, so uh, in truth, if you want to get the best out of the statue, I would suggest that if you're a Vesta, Vesta um, cabinet, something like that, you display it low so he's facing up. Um, there's a second variant, the second variant is the one that I have, and that's, that's the Yoga Flame Edition. That has 200 pieces, it has these two heads, and it has a third head, and I'm about to show you, this is what kind of blew me away. It has this. <laughs> that is, he's 17 inches like this tall, and he's 21 and a half inches this tall. So actually, at this height, he's about the same height as Saga. He's actually wider. I don't know that, I haven't tried it, but I don't know that you could display two of these in a best. Or a, he's pretty big in that respect, he's quite commanding in size. Um, the third variant is actually the Player 2 Blue variant. But I didn't go for the Blue variant, I didn't need two Dal Sims. Um, it's one of the few statues of, I, I, you know, he's basically the same thing, he's in blue, he's still pretty cool, he's an addition size of 200. Uh, the original price for these was $335 um, for the regular, $339 for the, uh, the, the exclusives. Um, it's really interesting because uh, normally I talk to you about secondary market prices. Um, certainly I did with some of the older statues because it was easier because they've been around for so long. This one I have no idea right now, I have no idea. And I don't think people are ever going to understand how amazing this statue is unless they're actually sitting there in front of one. Um, but I do know that people, flippers, or whatever you want to call them, people who were trying to sell the statue before it was actually in hand, struggled to sell it and they sold it, they got their money back. So they sold it for about $335. All you have to do is go to eBay and look at the sold statues and you'll see that they struggled to sell it. Um, but now that it's in hand, I have no idea, I've seen it sort of looks like there are some sales between uh, 400 and, you know, up to like 400 and, 
fifty dollars, I think, at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's all the information I can give you in terms of secondary value. I, I would suggest, quite honestly, if you want to get one, get it now um, before people start to come on to to how good it is. Now let's talk about the statue itself. Um, the sculpt is, is just great. The anatomy, the legs are very sort of gangly, the arms are gangly, the, the actual detail in the, in the musculature is amazing. Um, you can see where he's kind of, he's muscly, but you see all these tendons, so he's really thin and sort of almost malnourished. Um, I'm going to switch him around a little bit so you can see, I will actually do a more close-up video as we go, as I'm speaking, I'll overlay it. Um, but he has... Uh, this amazing back, um, which is just you know quite stunning uh, in terms of you know the traps and and, and all, all the muscles in relation to his back. Um, the mixed media aspect is incredible. The shorts are from Street Fighter, even though this is the Street Fighter Four variant. I believe the shorts are more in the Street Fighter Two style. I think he has like a nappy on in Street Fighter Four. Not 100% sure because that. Don't study it that much. Um, it kind of looks similar. Uh, we have the skulls here, which are separate elements. So he has a skull necklace, three skulls. And he has the rope here, and he has these 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 move. These are you know his bracelets, um, and he has the, the earrings as well with the big old ears. And the 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 sculpt, you know, the mixed media, the sculpt is spot on. Um, and then of course you have the flame element, which is just awesome. The paint job is great, you know? Like, the shading around the muscles is really good. Um, the, you know, it's very striking in terms of color, it's not very dull. And um, the red red makeup or, you know, paint that he puts onto his face looks really good as well. Now, in terms of like the way that they've designed and engineered this, like, Jerry wanted to, um, you know, keep this very much in keeping with the other statues, and that is they all have a plain black face. But, at the same time, what, is, what does he do when he's standing still? He's levitating. So, they concocted this idea of, like, flames, and they decided to keep the flames um, black. And actually, there's an image from Street Fighter 4, which I'll show you, uh, which kind of has a very similar style to it. And it works really well because it doesn't really take away from the statue. We didn't, none of us, you know, the forum members, people, the, the, the fans did, didn't want to see um, some elaborate flames that were going to take away from the character himself. Um, so, pretty excited about that. Um, the way he sits in, I'm going to take his head off just to be careful. Ooh. I would suggest whenever you hold this head, hold it here uh, because that's actually, believe it or not, the heaviest. Piece. Um, the way he sits in here, it looks very simple, um, but it's actually, he's very heavy, very weighty, and um, there's some magnets. So there's a magnet back here, there's a magnet here, and there's a magnet here, um, and putting them in is, is actually pretty straightforward. Um, and so I can tell he's been put together before because there's a little black mark at the back here which I dusted off um, from where he'd been placed there. So obviously they went through the proper QC, so that um, quality control, so that everything fits together nicely. Now the other thing I wanted to talk about very quickly, um, I'm just going to move the statue to the side here, is I wanted to talk to you about like what I think is important. So the art box itself, this is the art box. I'll show you all the different sides. You can see um, now this. Recently, I've had the same experience with the ninjas. There we go, and then I think there's a little sticker down there which talks about it being the Yoga Flame exclusive. Um, and then, these have always had like the information on the back here, which talks about Dal Sin, his birthday, 1952, um, November 22nd actually, so not that long ago. Uh, probably when this thing started shipping. Um, his height is five foot nine and a quarter. His weight is 106 pounds, his origin is India, and his first appearance was Street Fighter 2. His move set is Yoga, Yoga Fire, Yoga Flame, Yoga Blast, Yoga Catastrophe, Yoga Teleport, and Yoga Shangri-La. And his fighting style is Yoga. Maybe I should take up Yoga, I don't know. 
Um, and then just to read you a little bit on the back, it says, Dalsim is a loving father and husband, humble, stoic, and self-disciplined. He is also very stern when needed. Being a pacifist, he will never hurt a person more than necessary, no matter how evil they might be. Um, although I have seen people kick some ass with Dalsim. Uh, though fighting tournaments contradicts his beliefs, Dalsim feels the money he raises for his village justifies a greater good. Okay. It's fun. I paused there. When I saw the word money, I was like, where is this going? Uh, he wears the skulls of village children that died during a plague around his neck as a constant reminder of what he's fighting for. Well, there you go. I didn't know that. I thought you'd been up to some mischief and, and shrunk some heads. Um, but the final thing I really want to show you, it's not that interesting, but it's interesting to me, um, is the, the packaging on this is, is really good. I mean, it's, you can still see me, but it's, uh, it's, it came in three parts. It's very good quality polis, it's very good quality polystyrene, so it doesn't, uh, it don't, you don't get it all over the place. I'm not going to go into great detail there, but the, the, every single piece was wrapped in a way that meant that it, that it wasn't, um, going to rattle around and that, um, believe it or not, is massive. Like when I sell statues to people, I put in extra padding. The reason I do that is because well, the last thing you need is things rattling around in the box and they do that all the time. You know, um, at various statue companies and Pop Culture Shop has been, um, has been guilty of it in the past as well. But recently there's just been an upgrade in terms of quality of the, the packaging materials, the way that it's packed, each head was wrapped in foam and then put into in place very tightly. So it just couldn't move around and it was covered in you know soft foam. So overall I feel like Pop Culture Shock is headed uh, in an extremely good direction. I hope they pump out more and more great statues. I'm looking forward to the Akuma one third. I've already I ordered some time ago Goken and Balrog, they are looking good. Uh, uh, Ryu as well, waiting to see what the third portrait on that will look like. And then we saw a tease recently of Oro, which is kind of exciting and makes you wonder if Oro is going to make a return to Street Fighter V, which I think he probably will and should. And here's the last thing that I'm going to show you. This is my um, certificate of authenticity. And I got number 10, which is kind of cool. Uh, anyway, as you can see, I'm pretty excited. Um, good to be back making videos. Uh, you guys should stick around and subscribe because at the beginning of next year, the amount of videos that I turn out is gonna really significantly increase and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, let me know what you thought of the review and um, I can't wait to, to get back into it next year and, and pump out more videos. Uh, so thank you to my followers um, and thank you uh, if you're a new watcher, just Press that subscribe button. Alright, peace. Thank you so much. Yoga Fire!